Now, taxpayers, that's you and me and Alex and everybody, have picked up a £15,000 legal bill hey. uh, for Tory Minister Michelle Donnellan after she falsely accused an academic of supporting Hamas. Donnellan is facing calls to repay the costs and resign. Labour leader Keir Starmer says allowing the public to pay is an insult. The government is telling them every day that they can't do any more to help them. People are really struggling to pay their bills and the government says we can't afford to help you anymore. People know their public services are crumbling. And then you've got a minister who says something she shouldn't have said, then has to pick up a legal action and pay damages and costs, and then says the taxpayer's going to pay for that. Totally insulting. Does he normally wear bins, by the way, old Starmer, Lego head? I think, it, I think he's trying to look sort yeah. of uh, actually intellectual. Looks, he I've looks got less bad like a block of Lego, that's for sure, yeah. with those glasses. Yeah. They kind of work. Four really. eyes Keir, huh? Well, joining us now is Elliot Keck, Head of Campaigns at Taxpayers Alliance. Hi, Elliot. I mean, you know, uh, the short of it is she's an idiot. She's put something in writing that she shouldn't have done if she had any, uh, you know, sense about her. But why on earth are we paying this when it was a personal Twitter account and her libel? Yeah, I think it's a very good question. The Department of Science put out a statement saying that ministers are entitled to legal support when it comes to their responsibilities and their conduct. Now, when it comes to their responsibilities, I think that's entirely legitimate. Secretaries of State obviously uh, are in charge of huge departments covering many different areas, and they do need that legal advice and support. But when it comes to their conduct, particularly their conduct on a platform like uh, Twitter, now, of course, X, I think that's where it's really, really debatable and really, really difficult to justify taxpayers footing a bill for essentially an incredibly... Uh, uh, insensitive, uh, high risk, uh, and frank and apparently libelous statement. And I think it's really difficult to justify. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, Elliot, that, uh, you know, this was her payout. Uh, uh, that's what she ha actually had to pay the damage. The damages were £15,000. But up until that point, uh, there would have been a lot of legal expenses. So it's not just £15,000. And it's quite right that if you... Uh, somehow or other they get into some kind of legal difficulty which arises because of the remit of your job, then your employers, be they the government or anyone else, should, of course, pick up that bill. If uh, you do something that is outside the remit of your job, why should your employers pay? Uh, why should the taxpayer pay for Michelle Donnellan when she rather stupidly put something on social media accus accusing someone of being a Hamas supporter when they were not? That's her fault and the taxpayer should not be paying. Exactly. And, and I think that the, the real question for Michelle Donnellan here and for the government is absolutely everybody in the world knows that you cannot accuse somebody of being a Hamas supporter without incredibly strong evidence. To do so is an incredibly serious allegation. You are alleging that they support a prescribed terrorist group. Now, it's really interesting. The last couple of hours we've seen that apparently she received uh, legal advice before she made that statement. It would be fascinating to see what that legal advice was. I think that does need to come out. Your point about whether or not it was more than £15,000 speak to this need for full transparency on this case. Who needs evidence when you're the science secretary? Um, talking about her being the science secretary, I don't want to put you on the spot here if you don't know, but what would a take-home pay be as both an MP and a cabinet minister? I think the, the combined it's something around £170,000, so it's a pretty yeah, hefty yeah, salary. She's not hard up then, is she? Yeah, she and this, afford is, that. this is what they should do. I mean, this is what... If the government had any sense, they say, look, <laughs> sorry, Michelle, but, you know, if, if we pick up the tab for this, it's going to cause a lot of trouble, uh, which indeed it is. So you're getting £170,000 a year. Do you mind paying for it yourself? That would have been... Yeah, you're getting £155,000 a year because you're paying that bill. So for once, I think we're on Keir Starmer's side. This is just all wrong. We should not be paying for this libel uh, damages payout uh, that the science secretary, Michelle Donnellan, has incurred because of her own stupidity, not because of the government. So it's all wrong. Well, we've got you, uh, uh, Elliot. Uh, you're just the man. Uh, you know, when uh, Jeremy Hunt yesterday said uh, it's unfair, uh, she said, he said it's particularly unfair that there are two taxes, national insurance mm -hmm. and income tax, uh, and then he went on to retain national insurance and in income tax, and now he's trying to have his cake and eat it too and saying, oh, well, I want to get rid of uh, national insurance. Yeah. Well, why doesn't he do it then? 
Well, how often have we heard this from ministers and from chancellors uh, and from conservative governments? In fact, we've had months being told that we were going to receive an income tax, only to be told that would be somehow too expensive to give our, us our money back. So listen, it's great rhetoric and absolutely the TPA, we would fully support abolishing national insurance. It is a dreadful tax, particularly when it's on employers as well, which of course reduces your wages and reduces the incentive to hire. But it really remains to be seen whether or not they'll actually have the bravery to stick to their words. We well, need a bit more fiscal headroom first before anything like that could happen, I'm sure. Uh, Elliot, thank you ever so much. Always great to hear from the TPA. Thanks, Elliot. Thanks.